Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, is a reduction in kidney function and or markers of kidney damage that uh, are present for a duration of three or more months. So early detection of chronic kidney disease is important uh, because it can help to prevent or at least slow the progression of the disease and it does also improve the quality of life of patients affected with chronic kidney disease. The early stages of chronic kidney disease are usually asymptomatic and so detection is, is quite difficult in that case. That's why we need guidelines for targeted screening for CKD. The CKD Clinical Pathway provides guidance on the detection and management of CKD. The content of the CKD Pathway is evidence-based, uh, developed by experts, and uh, is available at www.ckdpathway.ca. It was also published in the Canadian Pharmacist Journal in September 2015. So our objectives of conducting the study was to evaluate pharmacists' application of the CKD clinical pathway in the screening and identification of patients with CKD, especially for those with previously unrecognized CKD. Our findings were actually really interesting because we found uh, that 283 of the 720 patients who we screened had CKD. What was really, really interesting was the fact that 40% of those with CKD had previously unrecognized CKD. So in terms of clinical implications, we can actually divide this into two categories. One would be for us pharmacists, and this will highlight the benefit of the potential impact of judicious ordering of laboratory tests, as in the results we found that 40% of the patients with CKD had previously unrecognized CKD. Second category will be for patients and pharmacists. And knowing the values of the kidney function tests, both the estimated glomerular filtration rate and the random urine albumin creatinine ratio may have implications for potential patient care as it will highlight the need for, to adjust medication regimens for renal dysfunction. Also taking measures to prevent the progression of CKD like treatment of diabetes, hypertension and other comorbidities and also taking measures to reduce the risk of having cardiovascular events.